Now we are one month, actually a little more than one month, like what, 32 days? Is that right, Jordan? 32 days from Joker? It's it's out on the 4th, so it's, it's, it's yeah. the 3rd. 3rd, third, I think, is when this is going up. So, yeah, like, like basically a month, 32 days away from the Joker. And I have to say, Jordan, this movie looks good. It looks really good. Like, I, I am I am mildly shocked at how good this looks because I remember hearing that it was going to be uh, Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. What was that, like, over a year ago? We heard, of, like, we really heard yeah. about that, maybe more. Uh, and then we didn't really see even a picture of it in, until, like, 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 what, seven or eight months ago or something of him as, like, one of the clowns in the subway. I uh, think they started doing screen. T- I can't remember if it was, like, seven, eight months ago or, like, right at the, like, end of last year but we started getting like these little clips of like the the makeup test and then like that subway shoot like a you know behind the scenes of it um but that was really about it then it was silent for a while until that first trailer dude when they put when they uh, dropped that first trailer man i'm actually really so this is this is supposed to be a one-off which is kind of a shame as of, right now. As of yeah. right now. I feel like sure. when this comes out, there there might be some uh, reconsideration on that. Currently sitting, <laughs> uh, so reviews came out for it, currently sitting at an 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, on IMDb, it's at a 9.7. And you told me that, I didn't even see that IGN, IGN gave it a 10 out of 10. Which is crazy. I don't know if they have they done that for a movie before. I know they've done it for games. I'll be honest. I don't, I don't follow their movie. movie stuff that all. I, I mean, you, you, you kind of glance at them for like games and stuff, but I've never really looked at them for like a uh, for a movie. I didn't check Metacritic uh, for it, but generally like I know films on Metacritic, if it scores like like what an OK game scores, then it's amazing. You know, uh, yeah. 70, 75 on Metacritic. So that's actually really good for a movie, like in the movie category. That's good. Yeah. Um, I think the audience score, which, you know, even more than the critic scores, personally, I listen to the audience score because I feel I'm more aligned that way. Like, you'll see on movies where, like, they're just destroyed by critics, but the audience loves them. And it'll, and then, like, it'll be flipped on another film where the critics love it and the audience hates it. I think it. a lot of the and time, though, been... it has to do with the, the critics taking it seriously. Like, it's it, every movie's like an, like they're looking to win an Oscar with, like, every single movie. And I think some people just, like, will go and see a movie and they just want to have fun with it, whereas the critic has to, like, have their little score sheet out and everything. Uh, but yeah. uh, this, like, Joaquin Phoenix is going all out as the Joker in this movie. Like it is something else to see. Uh, there were yeah. there was an article I saw come out that said he lost like fifty something pounds for it, fifty two like, or fifty three. Lost a pounds bunch of weight for it, uh, and and he is like full on Joker. He's right up there. I I think with that, like his laugh is really good. He's right there. I, I think the best laugh the Joker has is I think it's Mark Hamill personally. Um, oh yeah. But he, dude, he, he's right there, and and Mark Hamill doesn't have to be on. He doesn't have to be on camera. You know, he's he's all voiceover. Right. Uh, you, jo- Joaquin Phoenix is right there with that laugh, though. Bad news for you. Uh, and just like the way that they shot the 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 trailer, like I, I hope I hope there's still a lot of stuff to see in the movie because it's it's going to be his origin story, and the Joker has actually quite a few takes on his origin story so i feel like that's why they can get away with it with a one-off but it just just like the the camera angles the cinematography and everything the imagery everything in the in the preview looks better than a lot of movies complete so far this is this has gone to a point where i can't even really look at this as a comic book film uh i can and can't let me see why i can't because the way it's all been approached hasn't been about a comic book film. Right. Uh, when they got Todd Phillips to direct it, I'm like, Oh, the, the hangover guy. I mean, he, he, he can do like, he's done some cool things in some of his like comedy related films. I, I'm, I'm curious. And then you had Martin Scorsese basically, you know, helping like start it and get the you know project rolling. And a lot of people are saying it's kind of a, a mix of Taxi Driver and, uh, you know, the uh, what's the other one? Uh, King of Comedy uh, kind of fused into this. And their reason why they started taking this out and, and saying, oh, we're going to bring this to film festivals. We, we believe in this film as like being an award contender. And when you hear that kind of like enthusiasm from D.C., like that's pretty exciting. And you, you think about all the other films they've done and all the controversy or love or hate relationships with justice league and all the other stuff they've done to hear that about just a one-off film and an elseworld film that is incredible and then going to the trailers and you're looking at them and you're like okay 
this is gorgeous. It's shot really well. It's time period accurate. Like the acting, like you put um, you put a Joaquin Phoenix in anything. I'm on board. I've seen him. Oh, he's a phenomenal actor of all time. I followed his. How how crazy is it going to be that he the thing that might win him an Oscar might be a DC movie. And the the funny thing is about that, too, is that it'll be the second if he won, let's say Mm -hmm. it'll be the second time that like a comic book character, you know, has has someone playing a comic book character has won that role. And it'll be twice for the Joker now, one for Heath Ledger back in uh, the Dark Knight. And now one for Joaquin Phoenix. So this th- is going to be a role that's always desired by the Joker actors is just such to, an interesting it. character if an actor can can play it right. Because uh, yeah. we saw what Jared Jared Leto uh, <laughs> he, he made an attempt. We saw it. Yeah, <laughs> he made an attempt. Uh, I think th- on that one I think was just too out there. Like the thing about the Joker is he needs to be grounded in reality somewhat, and uh, while also being like this this mythical being almost. Uh, and like in if you watched. If you watched Gotham at all, they they use the Joker as an idea rather than just a single person, like where they had mm-hmm. gangs of people form up around the idea of the Joker. Uh, th- it almost seems like that here, too, because you can see several uh, different people with like the clown masks on and everything. Um, and he's causing all of this, this this crazy riots and stuff in the streets. Right. But you can you can see this, the the latest trailer that they released shows kind of his descent into madness. And it feels like it's going to do that almost that one bad day thing. It almost looks like one one bad week kind of thing because they, they <laughs> right. show several times when he's with like his uh, his therapist and he, and he tells her he's, he's always having bad thoughts. Uh, and then he it showed him go on the, the stand up almost like a late night show. And then they just laughed mm-hmm. at him. He thought it was a good set, and he goes to watch it. I assume his mom's in the hospital at the time. Uh, she's that's probably look like. she's yeah. probably going to pass away while that's happening, or go into cardiac arrest, or something. Most likely, they're going to do all of this. It's all going to hit him at once, and then he's just going to turn into the Joker because we saw that last scene <laughs> at the end when when he's yeah. like, "Call oh, me the yeah. Joker when I go on," and you know, you know, bad things are about to happen to that crowd. <laughs> they're about to yeah, get laughing I, gassed I think... or mowed down or something. <laughs> And the fact that this is also rated R uh, really helps with how like yes. the tone of I was, the trailers have looked. I was worried about that at first. I was like, if, if this I is going to be PG-13, yeah. it's going to be tough. It is. I think they could I'm pull glad it off. they're making the decision. I yeah. like when these studios are just like, you know what? We've tried other things. They haven't worked. Screw it. Let's just try something else and see what happens. Like Logan. Logan was like, okay, fine. What if we did uh, make a rated R Wolverine film and made it super serious? Look what happened. It's one of, it's yeah. one of, if not the best. X-Men I think it's the best X Men movie. Yeah, I yeah, definitely. I, I have to put it up there. It's a good story. The acting is great. You feel like you've earned that because of all the past movies. But it literally stands out as like a beacon of great filmmaking. Yep, it's. And it's, I think this is that DC film. Compare it to all the other ones that have come out. Right. And the only things that you can compare it to are like the Nolan films in terms of like quality quality rather than trying to be this spectacle just telling you a good story it's uh it's it's rated r for strong bloody violence disturbing behavior language and brief sexual images so it sounds like he is going to be driven to madness and do some crazy things in this uh that pushed it to an r rating now we also we did have an r-rated uh joker movie already it was an animated film the killing joke they so they did do that and that was pretty good that was actually pretty good uh that they let him do that because you don't see a lot of anime movies come out that are r-rated like that especially in marvel or dc but but they went with it and i I actually liked it i thought it was a pretty good animated film um for what it was i I actually pay attention to a lot of dc animated movies i i do like them because they've become more mature they're good yeah Yeah. they've become more mature like i like the uh assault on arkham that's like one of my favorite ones uh, that one was really good. One, absolutely. Yeah. So they've been they've been pretty good with it. They, the problem is they release them quietly. Uh, so I'm happy <laughs> to see DC take this and like blow it up and put it. You know, this massive campaign of like pushing it. It's going to be in theaters. It has the the uh, the Oscar worthiness. It seems so far. We still have to see it. You know, but yeah. so far, right? It, it looks like it might. It's going to be nominated for something. Like something. I would like to see it be it, Joaquin Phoenix gets it, gets. It, you think it's gonna be two? I think it's gonna be two that they're gonna go for. So you're correct. I think they're gonna throw him as best actor is what they're gonna push for. But uh, as depending on how hard the competition is for that by the end of the year, I think they're really gonna try to go for cinematography mm. as well as possibly costume and makeup. Um, yeah, or I can set see that. Design or something. Some of the smaller awards like that. But I, I do think cinematography from just the shots in the trailer, it looks like it's shot beautifully. And um, 
obviously the acting. I think the acting is going to push this film to like, not like a cult status, but like everyone talks about this kind of film for like another hundred years. And was like, look what this was back then. Look what they were able to do. Film classes are going to have studies on it. If this is being labeled like somewhat of a taxi driver. And I personally think the film is going to have a lot of ambiguity to the story. Like it's not really going to give you a definitive answer by the end of it or what his real origins are. It's just going to be a guy going mad. It's going to be allegories and social commentary mixed into a good story rather than just like, it's the Joker and now he's evil doing bad things. I think it's going to be a lot more than that. So yeah. all that together makes me think that this could be one of the best. I actually, I actually wonder if we're going to feel bad for the Joker by the end of it. Like it almost feels like they're building it up like that, where in the beginning you see him and it looks like he's really trying, you know, he's got a job. He gets hit with the yeah. sign as he's running. He's really working on his like comedy routine and everything. And then he just gets driven to madness by everything around him. You almost start to feel bad for the guy. And then I feel like they're going to get you to that point And then they're just going to flip it. And he's just going to become this ultra violent criminal. Um, that's what I, and that's why I think the balance is going to be, um, you're going to be sympathetic and understand how he became this way. So you're going to be invested in it, but they're not going to make you feel, you know, like sorry for him after he does the bad things. You're going to like, you're still going to be like, Oh, I understand. I get it. I'm here with them. But obviously this unforgivable, the stuff he's doing, like, you know, I think they're going to kind of play it because he's the main act. You can't, you have to follow someone you like, like, or care about or else the movie doesn't work for you. Right. Right. So they have to figure out how to have an anti, you know, not a good guy, but he's just a guy going through stuff to becoming a bad person. For, but in his eyes and the people who are like rising up size is a good person, you know, like starting something or taking down, you know, a uh, big monopoly or whatever he's going to be doing in the film. Um, so I'm very curious to see how they tow that line with him. It's as, interesting as a, to see this come in for DC as Marvel's having their struggles right now with with all kinds of stuff, whether it's <laughs> Spider-Man and they're trying to reform the Avengers and all this stuff. It is interesting to see DC yeah. put out what uh, I, like I really like Shazam. Shazam was a fun movie, I thought. Uh, mm-hmm. And to see this come out later on is uh, really cool, actually. So I'm, I'm happy that DC is starting to get kind of back in there right now because they're, they're going through their own issues as well. But they at least had uh, Shazam yeah. and the Joker. I, th- I think it's going to be a good watch. I'm going to go see it uh, uh, that weekend, definitely. I don't know if opening night, but definitely that weekend. Um, yeah, and, I'll uh, be there probably that opening night, yeah. most likely. Yeah, <laughs> so I I'm, sure right you'll, I'm sure you'll talk more about it on your movie channel. Which What's that? What's that, Jordan? Absolutely. What's your movie channel? Uh, movie channel is called Electric Pop. Uh, I should be putting out a video soon talking about uh, Terminator Dark Fate because i got a lot of things to say about that, but uh, yeah, John and I figured that uh, we wanted to talk about Joker and we should just do it together. So this is like a mini film wave, uh, finally, for everyone who's been oh, yeah. anticipating that. Yeah, man. Looking looking forward to looking forward to the Joker to see Joaquin. I think he's I think he's gonna do I think he's gonna kill it as the Joker. So I'm I'm oh, really yeah. excited to see the Joker get this shine in the theaters um after what Jared Leto did to him. So uh <laughs> exciting stuff though, exciting stuff though. So make sure you check out Jordan on his channel and uh let us know what you think about the Joker. If you think it's going to be good, if you think Joaquin has a chance to get his Oscar as the Joker. What an interesting turn of events in his career. I will say that. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. But thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.